Good morning, everyone. There's a lot of you. Wow, well, there's a lot of you. And actually, Wednesday, there's probably double the amount. So it's incredible, uh, the numbers. But welcome, everybody, uh, to the um, Working Party, SPAB, Arkwright Society, HLF, Historic England. Everybody's involved in this Working Party. And uh, it's going to be an amazing week. Um, there's, it's going to be SPAB stands for the Society for the Protection of Ancient Buildings. It's um, the world's second uh, oldest building conservation charity. I believe it's the country's <coughs> oldest building conservation charity. It was set up by William Morris in 1877 um, in a way uh, to, to stop the restoration of buildings. Yeah, it's kind of an activist organisation, which is why I joined in the first place, because they're quite left-wing and they're quite, you know, they fight for the cause, really, um, saving historic buildings. <laughs> right, let's get in the buses. We're in the Lumsdale Valley, which is a, a, a valley of romantic ruins, for want of a better word. But it's an interesting valley with the remains of six water mills, which are all crumbling. And we've got the SPAB team from London, their volunteer work party, are coming to help consolidate the ruins, basically. They go to a different site every year and they bring volunteers, conservation volunteers, from all over the country to work on a, a vulnerable site. And we were very excited because they chose us uh, out of very stiff competition. So we'll yeah, well, it's kind of lots of passionate people that are interested in historic buildings coming and helping to repair, to repair historic structures that are crumbling and that um, the people who are running this place can't get the funding or whatever to, to get professionals to repair, so we've come to give them a bit of a boost, really. They, they need a lot of food um, to keep them all going, so they can work really hard for us during the week. So we're having a great time. So ultimately, um, this is a ruinous site. It's scheduled in that way, and we have to respect that. Um, and actually, in, in my mind, it's what makes it um, so fascinating and interesting place to, to visit and, and enjoy. Right, so we're in the middle of the Working Party week and um, it's been a very busy week so far. Um, we've uh, tried to understand the building as much as we possibly can, work out the areas of um, repair that were required and, uh, and then make a start on those repairs. We're taking the ivy off of the wall um, because some of it's been cut off at the bottom so um, roots have grown into the um, mortar joints. As you can see from this example, it's um, rather than just growing up the wall, it's producing proper roots um, and rooting into the wall. And these will, roots will get bigger and bigger and they'll start to push stones apart. Um, so we want to catch that before it happens. So we're just doing some roof repairs because that's what needs doing and part of the wall plate had rotted here and part of the brickwork had come out so the rainwater was getting into the core of the wall. So we're just taking the slates off, putting a little tile repair you can see just so that it supports the edge of the tiles and putting the slates back on and hopefully it'll be weather tight. So it's just kind of small little repairs to try and stop the building deteriorating. The walls themselves are, of course, historic. They show historic detailing, which could easily be lost if you over restore the, the structures. We're into conservative repair, uh, taking on um, and repairing historic structures and buildings and in an honest and sympathetic manner. And so, yeah, it's not really just about us coming in and, and doing a job for them. It's about getting the local community involved and saving what is, you know, an incredible sort of evocative set of ruins really, you know, in, in a beautiful woodland. Well, it's our last full day on site here at uh, Lumsdale uh, um, SPAB Working Party. Um, it's uh, been a fantastic week. 
Uh, of course, we've um, tried to understand what repairs need to be done. We've got the volunteers, the specialists and the, the scholars and the fellows undertaking that work. And I reckon uh, we're pretty much on time um, to finish. So from my experience of previous um, SPAB working groups, what I've observed is that the work they're doing brings together communities and the uh, community has a sense of purpose. We're a big group, a group of the most fantastic young professionals, older professionals, amateurs, just enthusiasts, experts, and everybody comes together on the same level and engages and rolls their sleeves up. And the local community does the same. And there seem to be people who don't always seem to know each other that well who through the SPAB working party are chattering away making tea or receiving guests in their homes and then having to ferry us around, pick us up. They don't know anything at all about SPAB and it's news to them what we do. And they seem to be infused. We get stuck in yeah. here, don't we? We're, you know, we're slushing nettles and we're yeah. pulling up weeds and, you know, and by lunchtime everybody's tired, but they feel we've, yeah. we've done a good job, haven't we? And it's important to it's important to all of us. It's a very special place, and it needs to be looked after and cared for. I believe it's worth preserving places like this because, to me, they represent the history of ordinary people, something that's been neglected in the UK. And you can see that at its height there were 2,000 ordinary people like me working in this valley. And this is a monument to them, and that's worth preserving, in my opinion.